so I'm trying something new. Um, I realized I haven't done a whole lot of art stuff on this channel. So I'm going to attempt to do some sculpture videos and just some art videos in general. Uh, so right now I'm setting up my equipment. I've got my audition going up here. I need to put this up there for another camera. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Spider-Man. All right, so the plan is to take this sculpture and stand it up like so. It's gonna be upright. Uh, so I need to drill the hole in the bottom here and find a base for it. But as you can see, it's uh, all sorts of dirty. So the first step is to just very lightly brush all this excess dirt off of it. I really want to keep like these sections of, oh see that fell off. I really want to keep as much of that as I can, but I want to get a lot of this dirt off of it. The trick is this is, this is like half rotted wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it in resin and then um, it'll preserve just the way it is. And I'll be able to keep a lot of this moss and stuff that's on this other side. But for the resin to stick the best, I want to try to get most of this dirt off and any like little cobwebs or hairs or anything like that. So I really should be doing this like over a trash can, but I want you guys to be able to see the process. So bear with me. This is new to me filming of myself doing art. I think that's pretty good for now. So next step is resin. I'm gonna put this here. Clean off this space. And go and get my resin. I've got my brush mixing tool. Got my two different cups for the two different resin mixtures. It's a one in one mixture. Oh, A and B. All right, so we'll throw it on here. Zero out this scale. And then we'll put however much of this. Let's do, uh, let's do 20. 19, 19, 20. All right. And then we'll do the same thing with this. That zeroed itself out. Actually, let's be smarter about this. Okay. So that's 20. And then we'll just put another 20 in on top of this so I don't have to pour from one cup to the other. 20. Now the goal is to mix these as evenly as possible. Which like I said, it's easier if you put them both in one cup 
as opposed to splitting in two cups and then having to pour one into the other. And then making sure you scrape all of it out. Just use one cup, pour both of them in, put equal amounts in, use your scale. Now I'm using just an old paintbrush here because when I'm done, this brush will be no good anymore. So I'm just gonna try to apply this as evenly as possible. little crevices. But without making it too thick. Resin is kind of gloopy in nature, so when I'm applying here, I'm trying not to just do too much. I don't want it to be plasticky, but I want it to be secure, if that makes sense. The resin's gonna make this wood it's going to stop it from, from aging. It's also going to kind of change the color and make it somewhat plasticky. And my goal is to just as little plasticiness as possible. Hey, what's up, baby? What do you think of this piece? Do you like the way it looks? Is this one that you got from the woods? Yes. Did you pick this one up? No, not yet. Okay. I picked up. grateful. This part's real difficult. There's all these big deep holes in there filled with dirt. I'm trying to keep as much of the natural look as I can at the same time making sure it doesn't fall apart. I'm putting this resin on it. Bye sweetie, thanks for visiting. Pass the torch over this real quick. I have to do a pretty fast movement here because I don't want the wood to catch on fire. air bubbles out. It looks good. Okay, now we just have to wait for that to dry. So, I like how it turned out. I like these areas. With the, the wood is like nice and dark but not shiny. I don't really like the shiny areas. So I'm gonna to try to take this brush on the Dremel and see if I can get rid of some of that shine.
I finished doing all of the stuff to the stuff and the thing and the bob. All right, next I'm gonna find my spot to drill for my rod, which is kind of difficult on this piece because it's very thin and it's kind of got some funky angles here. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go in like there-ish and try to go straight with that. Because if I put this bit on here and try to get this angle right, I'm going to be hitting the chuck on the side of the piece here. Instead, I'm going to take this piece of brass tubing, cut it down to the length I need, and see if I can use this to drill my hole. was really dangerous. Are you alive? Yeah. Do you imagine if that had gotten caught in your beard? Yeah, that would have been awful. Okay. So not such a great idea. It was working until I tried to pull it out and then it just flew everywhere. Let's try that again with a solid rod this time. Well, other than almost losing my beard to a tragic Dremel accident, this uh, project was really fun for me. I really enjoy how it turned out. Uh, the lines and the, the way that it looks is just really nice. Uh, I also got to deliver this piece to the Art Museum TX in Sugarland because uh, one of my other pieces sold and they had more room for it. So guys, if you like this kind of video, um, and if you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave them down below. And uh, if you really enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Well, that's it for me for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you next time. Pieces sold. Yeah. Yeah.